Hey guys, it's Skyler from Team Kraken here with a new edition of Rubbish Online Matches. Today we're playing Transformers War for Cybertron, as you saw from the title screen right there. So we're going to play this, and um, to be completely honest, viewers, this game was actually really good. So, uh, Team Deathmatch... If you decide to play this game online anymore, the only real ma the only real thing you're gonna find is people in Team Deathmatch and some Escalation people. <coughs> <coughs> All right, I'm gonna pause until we actually find people. Hey, we found someone. All right. All right, I'm back, and it and, and someone left. I knew that was gonna happen. I knew it starts as soon as I started recording again, someone was gonna leave. <sighs> I like how it says there's 22 people playing online, yet I go in and I can. and I found a room and I was the host. Alright, it looks like we actually found a match, so we're gonna play as our. Um, we're gonna play as the leader class because that's the closest to leveling up as of right now. It's a level 11, very close to 12, and. Um, we're losing. I basically just joined in at the end of the match, and they are five kills away from victory. We are five kills behind them. So yeah, I ended up quitting the other um, the other room I was in. Oh wow, we killed each other, and I leveled up. All right, let's keep playing as the the year class. So I ended up quitting out of the other room and joining this new one. Uh, this new one is full now. Any of you guys? What? How? Wait! What? That's Starscream, but he's on the Autobot side! Hacks. Hacks confirmed. There is no other way that that's happening. Because as you can see right now, I'm Soundwave, Decepticon. And he was Starscream, but he was on the Autobot side when Starscream is a Decepticon. This is War for Cybertron. It's not like you could just switch the colors of the characters. Did I say War? I meant Fall of Cybertron. This is not that, where you could just be all like, oh, hey, I can just switch my colors with the same class character model. That'll work. No. This is War for Cybertron. So depending on what side you're on... That's the thing you get to choose. I wonder what else he has to play. Uh, uh, he <laughs> was just, what is that position right there? What is that position? I just walked up behind the guy and it's like, oh, hey, um, you okay there? Uh, at least I gained something out of that. I don't know why, for some reason the scout is my best class in this game. I, I, I don't understand why. It just is. So yeah, this game is like full, completely full. Let me check. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, full. And this is Fall Cybertron, so the max level is, or not the max level, the max player count is ten. So yeah. I'm probably gonna... <laughs> so yeah, Rubbish Online matches. That was not a full match, so we're gonna do another one. Look, looks like I'm on the Autobot side, and there's someone here who doesn't have the. Oh, well, never mind. I'm generic Joe too, by the way. If you haven't figured that out already, let's go with our scientist this time, and the uh, Rocket Man. Why not? Yeah, in War for Cybertron, I just decided to name all the characters just Man. Kind of like in Mega Man, how everything was just man, except for Splash Woman and Mega Man, um, which one was that? I forget. I want to say it was like eight. Okay. See what I mean by ru- Whoa, what was that jazz texture right there? That was really weird. Okay. I like how, um, Scientist is mainly the healer. And I only have one thing that I can use to actually heal people. But it displays the health bars anyway. You there. Okay! Oh yeah, see? See? This is another example. 
he just killed me. And that's Jazz, who is an Autobot, but he's on the Decepticon side, and you can tell because he killed me. Or you can tell he's a Decepticon because he killed me. I'll probably show you after this match, if I can remember. Like, this is War for Cybertron. You have to be an actual legitimate Autobot if you're on the Autobot side. You have to be an actual Decepticon on the Decepticon side. You can make your own character. Yeah, that's not what I'm saying. You can't make your own character. I'm not saying you can't. It's just the side that you're on is kind of determines which character you get. Like, I'm an Autobot scientist, and the chassis I chose for this is the Air Raid chassis, which I forget the name of. I forget what they actually called it for this. Oh, that's a... Oh, yeah, see? See? And the EMP shotgun just killed me in one hit. Unless I already lost some health. Which I think I did. Let's sneak up on him. You're gonna be easier to kill. Actually, wait, no, you're not the scientist. What? 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 Was that a generic? What? Oh, that's dead end. Okay, never mind. I thought that was... I thought there was a generic enemy Decepticon soldier in the multiplayer, so I was very confused. Okay, slipstream here. Okay, uh, I'm gonna run back for cover now. Even though I have an overshield. But the overshields suck with scientists. Yeah, double kill. Oh! Can we go for a triple? See, that's, that's more like a normal looking dead end. That guy that, could, that just killed me right there. Yeah, that was next to. Did not mean to do that. Hey, you! That's. Yeah, that's an enemy, okay. Oh, wow! Scout Car OP, please nerf. I mean, come on! Oh, no! No, don't tell me you're just gonna be like, by that spawn point all day, every day. Don't do that. See you, cloaker. Oh, come on. <laughs> oh, these hacks are not approved by me. Or I do not approve of these hacks is what I really mean to say. Alright, I guess I was going to try and go back and heal that guy, but whatever. I guess he doesn't want to be healed. What's with the hologram characters? What's up with that? Let's go over here. No one, no one ever goes over here. I'm surprised we have nine kills with hackers. I'm surprised we have kills with hackers at all. Nine is just... Oh, God. That EMP shotgun, I think it's just normally that powerful. To be completely honest. I think it's just supposed to be that, that great. Wait a minute, what? Hold on, get back here, you. I want to see your character. He's a, no he's not. There's no way he's a friendly. Again, another example of hackers, but he's actually on our side. Huh. Alright. So, yeah, it was a Starscream model, but he's on my team, apparently. He has the Decepticon logos and everything, but he's on our team. And these hologram characters are just, like, everywhere. What happened to the shotgun right there? It just disappeared. Ugh, get over there. Come on. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, God! Oh! Oh, motion sensor bombs, or whatever they're actually called. I don't remember entirely. I'm just gonna die now. Hey, okay, that's that's a friendly. I just saw something and I started shooting, I'm like, whoa. 
back here you can't hide from me. Or maybe you can because I have to fight this other person. Yeah, let's just do drain. Oh, not even, I didn't even, okay, yeah, that works. Are we not dead? Okay, there. Now I'm gonna die. Oh. Uh, I guess I shouldn't have done that. Because they were already at full health, I think. Unless they weren't. In which case, yes. Game's actually running really well right now. What? I didn't hit transform. Was I the last guy to die? I think I was. Well, uh, this is what happens when you have to fight hackers. You just get destroyed and, yeah. And there was your proof right there that the guy that was Jazz, somehow Jazz on the Decepticon side in War for Cybertron, his gamer tag, the, uh, I'm not going to try and pronounce it. It's this first one right here. He was on the Decepticon side, but he was Jazz, who was an Autobot, and that's not possible at War for Cybertron, but anyways, I'm, uh, I'm done here, so thank you guys for watching, see you guys next time for whatever, whenever here on our channel, goodbye.